day, beautiful people. Greet you in a wonderful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Yes, we are going to close off this chapter, part 8F, for the new and reborn within Christ, finding your identity and still based on 2 Corinthians 5.17. That means we are new within Christ. We are seeing things and things are going on at this point. Yesterday we talked about Psalm 109, Romans 10 and Daniel 9. And then we see what is going on in the world and we fight this. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy, I can never speak this out. Deuteronomy 31 verse 8 says, The Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you. And he will never never leave nor will he forsake you. Um, we entering a stage here in life, in our our life, our era, and it is not going to be fun. We're going to have a little bit of tough things going on, but we have a promise. If you go look at Revelations twenty, that is. A chapter about Satan bound in the abyss during the kingdom age. And that is what we preach. And that is what we speak. That is what we proclaim and manifest as well. Yesterday my parents were here till extremely late. Really proud. I love them so much. So I want you to go and have a quick read on... Uh, Revelations 20 I'm just going to read the first verse and I saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand it's a vision that my boy had as well and he laid and he laid hold on the dragon the old serpent which is the devil? You see, go read the rest. I'm not going to read that. I'm really hasty. You need to understand what is going on in this day. And we are not doomed prophets. Absolutely not. But we intercede. We pray. We keep on praying. And we understand what is going on uh, in this world. If you look at the news, if you look at uh, science, if you look at everything, it's like, whoa, we we are really going into a thing here. <laughs> We're moving into this extremely dangerous, awkward period. And that's why it's important to be new and reborn in Christ, to know your identity within Christ. Because if you don't know that, and if you are going through this, depending on what your worldview is and what you believe is, you're going to have a lot of issues. Um, make sure that you are one with Christ. Look in that mirror. Understand what is going on. Believe, move forward. Like I said in previous videos as well, we are going to move into a new section. And we are going to maybe do that holiness Bible study as well. Thank you for all those who actually really step up. Um, we are always grateful. And we are always thankful. And it's wonderful to see how people move. And that's fun. Okay. Have a blessed day. And be one with God. Make sure your heart is right. Make sure that you are really in line with the Holy Spirit. Amen.